Hey everybody, welcome back to uh, Formula One 2012. Why did I think I was at Bahrain? This is uh, Spain. Um, my objective is to finish first because I've qualified on the pole position. I've done so well, as I said I would be doing. I'm an intermediate. I, uh, I pretty much uh, dominated. Uh, to be honest, I let I I had the best time in all three qualifying sessions, and um, so there's my issue with the game. Uh, I know I've talked about it before. I've talked to other people about it. Uh, the gap between intermediate and professional is ridiculous. Um, doesn't mean I'm going to win the race because I still got to drive some odd number of laps without mistakes. Um, but as you saw in the previous four races, I uh, I wasn't get you know, I, I couldn't keep up with the lead pack at all, even when I wasn't crashing. Go. Um, so it, it's, it, you know, this is, we'll see how big a lead I can get if I don't screw up. But it's a shame, really. Um, I mean, maybe that's the point. Maybe that's the point of the cars. I'll, I'd be curious to see how I do in professional when I have a better car. I mean, maybe it's... Maybe because I've only driven the... Uh, like, see there? Uh, maybe because I've only driven the... Uh, the back marker cars that I've... Uh, had the issue, um, but it's still kind of ridiculous, but I guess I'm not pulling away really, let's see. I've grown to, uh, I don't think about this track much. I've driven it a lot thanks to uh, Fours of Four, if it's one of the one of the tracks. Um, Looking at the radar, we predict a dry race. Okay. Uh, it, it, I kind of enjoy it during my qualifying uh, those three qualifying sessions that I did. I did them last night. Uh, I quite enjoyed it. I, I quite enjoy this track now. I, I never really thought about it. I never paid it that much. Uh, Never paid it that much attention, but, uh... uh kind of a fun track. Yeah, there's a noise for you, Oliver. Um, doesn't have any spots that I have too much issue with that I have on other tracks. Uh, but it's got some good fast corners, but then some good tight corners. Jeez. Are my tires bad already? This is not good. I ran, uh, I believe it was a 126 in the final, and my best lap was the 126 that I got in my first lap of qualifying session three. see how that see if I can get close to that again obviously uh, race fuel a little slower oh Alonzo with the 129 all right Got some stra Oh, well, he's right behind me, isn't he? Well, that's not good. That's not good at all. Gonna be smart for 17 laps. Hope my tires can make it. 
figured I'd have pretty decent tires, being that I only did one lap on them. I only I did my one lap. I went out on a flying lap, made my one lap, and then uh, slowly went around the track, pitted, and uh, waited to the end of the session. Because I knew nobody was going to come close to it. Nobody I. In all the previous ones, everybody was running 27s, 28s. I, myself, was running 27s and uh, hit that 26. But even my teammate qualified 10th. Uh, I've got to use my curves better here. This little section. Section one's pretty fun. I like section one. Sector one, sorry. Careful of curbs. That's probably the only corner that gives me the most trouble, and I just don't always set myself up right for it. In uh, in four is a four. That turn right there. That's the one that gets me all the time. This one could be tricky because you're going down downhill and you kind of lose uh, rear end grip. So you got to really be careful there. Spun out actually a few times during qualifying in that section. Alright, good. He didn't get DRS on me. Let's see if I can build a bigger lead here before my pit next lap. Still fastest quarter of a second. Here it comes. Crap. That wasn't good. That wasn't good. Let's do where you are. I'm gonna get to uh, get through my pit stop. Probably the and get the one lap to get my tires hot, and then I hopefully can run full revs the rest of the race. That was my plan. We'll see. I'm much faster through the S's there. Definitely much faster through the S's. Alright, so this is the pit stop lap. We think the car behind is running on full revs. He's trying to close the gap. Oh, but what a difference just going one notch. It's a shame that I'll go back to professional after this race. This was just a test. Careful 
curb there. That wasn't smooth. That was bad acceleration on my part. Ugh. Alonzo's coming in, Hamilton is staying out. Alright, need a good pit stop. 3-7 I would like, 3-7 would be good. 1, 2, 3. Oh, that is horrible. That is absolutely a horrible pit stop. 5-8 to change 4 tires, seriously? Ugh. That is horrible. Now I gotta chase Alonzo. You have no more scheduled pit stops, so look after your tires. Oh man, that is just horrible. You're on the slower tire, but you're maintaining the gap for the car ahead, so we're very happy. This is good. Oh, it's been like not even it's been one sector. <laughs> I can't. I'm nowhere near Perez at the moment. Well, now I am, but not, not there. Alright. You're only five positions behind Paul. Yeah, well, he's got a pit. I gotta catch Alonzo. Horrible, horrible. I, I... Oh, sorry. So I'll get DRS. Come on, go. Man, you are slow. Oh, that's Hamilton. He came out of the pits in front of us. Wow. Well, we got ourselves a race at least. I gotta be able to catch him though. He's on cold tires. That's Hamilton. Go for the overtake. Can't do that turn. I just don't want to risk passing in here. Turn one. Well, I'll get him right here. Oh, grass. Oh. <laughs> Gotta be careful, don't want to spin out. all over me. Oh, I don't want to spin. <laughs> I really don't want to spin out now. Alright. Okay. Get on straight here. Switch to full revs and hopefully get the wreck. Just, uh, not to see the uh, three laps. Should be good. Alright, here we go. Let's bring this baby home for my only win this season. Oh, 
I screwed that up. Alright, almost a two second gap. They're fighting for position. That's good. Let them, let them. So, what should I talk about? Uh, computer. I'm talking about my computer. I, uh, things are going well. I uh, ordered my new monitor uh, the other day. And got the email today that it's shipping, so it should be here uh, by the 1st. So I should be all set up by the 2nd. Um, it's just hard. i got to rearrange the office, clean out the office. I have to, uh, I can't find a wrench. I gotta buy a wrench tonight so that I can, uh, found, uh, there's cable that runs into the office, but my modem is run out in the other room, so I'm trying to, so I have to, uh, how shall I say, uh, reroute, reroute it, because I'm not going wireless, because I just, I have pro, I, I'm not 100% keen on, I keep looking at wireless adapters and none of them sound like everybody, like every one, whether they're $17 or PCIe or whatever, or USB or $50 or $60 or $17. There's always somebody saying, well, the signal's just not that strong. The signal's just not strong as it was in my, you know, pre-built or uh, my laptop or whatever. And I just... I need a good internet connection, so I figured, you know, straight, you know, wired in Ethernet would be the best, because uh, it's not like it's portable, like my laptop, you know, I'll take it in the kitchen, I'll take it upstairs, I, you know, that's fine with the wireless, um, but obviously the, this PC is staying right where it is, so there's no need, saving me a little extra money on that, and, you know, so, but it just needs a little extra work. Plus, I have to move my desk from one end to the other end of the room to make that work. And so I'm gonna do all that. So hopefully, but uh, I have, I have. Uh, why did I lose DRS? I didn't. I wasn't listening. Um, doesn't really matter because, barring any big mistake, which will happen now shortly, that I said this, I will win. Um, so, but I've loaded a few games on it and played them, uh, very happy. Um, got DayZ loaded up and played that. First server I went on, I was like, I was always really nervous. I didn't want to jump on and get like, you know, high or very high and only get like 23 frames or, you know, that's normally what I get when I'm not recording on my laptop and then when I'm recording it drops to 15 uh, lately and I just I can play it I deal with it but uh, you know I want that's not I don't want to build that computer and then run into that mess so I was a little hesitant a little worried but I uh, You're being followed by Hamilton. He's five seconds behind. I got it up and running and first server I said I got on and I was getting uh, 35 frames I think I was in Cherno so that usually your frames will dip I mean it's not the most optimized game out there um, but uh, so I did that another fast lap sweet but then I uh, I tried a new server a little bit later and I was getting much higher frames. I was getting 55, 60 on, on high, which is alright with me. Um, but then when I set it to its highest, 
uh, setting I was still getting 45 frames so I was you know I was happy about that I mean I know it's not you know 120 frames as I know some people's computers but again it's this is a 100% budget build this is this, this is a $500 <laughs> it's a $500 PC I mean plain and simple I, it's between $500 and $600 PC and it's uh, so far been pretty good. I need to install Battlefield, it just takes so long uh, to do that. I couldn't buy the wrench tonight so that I can hook it up in here and that way I can let her download all day tomorrow or something. Cause it still takes a few hours. It's, it's going to take three hours. Uh, I don't want to if there's issues, I don't want to have to be stuck up later than normal doing that, so... Uh, but that'll be the test, because some people said I'm not going to be able to play Battlefield really well, um, which... I only want it to play it on very high. I don't even need it to run on Ultra, but I bet it'll run on Ultra above 45 frames per second, um, and I bet it'll run on very high above 60 frames per second. That's my guess. We'll see what, what it does. And then hopefully by next week I'll be recording on it and uh, see if things get a little better. Let's see how our tire's looking. Not bad. Really not pushing all that hard, just driving. I think I saw myself get a few fast laps there. Without using my curves, I don't I just I have really no one threatening me, I don't Oh, that was tough. I don't normally use the curve. The tires have picked up some marbles, keep to the racing line and wear them off. Okay, this is where it all falls apart, people. Lap 14. Oh, good. The DRS is back online. Because it's really important for someone who's got a... <sighs> How does he know that I want to... How does he know that I have marbles? I guess he's watching. Is there some tire sensor that lets the, the crew know that... Uh, never know these days. And if they can fix your wing and your curves while you're driving, you pretty much probably can tell when you got marbles on here. Yeah, lost a little time there, but I'm alright. Oh, that means it's optimized, so I have to uh, get to a straightaway and set it back. That was not the right place to do that. Yeah, I ordered another monitor. I, I, uh, I've been on a computer since, jeez, I don't know how old I was when we got our first computer. And, you know, it's dial up on AOL and another fast lap, like two. Yeah, wow. Um, But until uh, February of this year, I've never used dual screen. I use now. I have a, I have my laptop screen, and then I have a Acer uh, screen. You're being followed by Hamilton. He's and now I don't. Uh, when I'm working on my new PC and load the stuff, I'm like, oh, I cannot handle just having one screen. It's just uh, it's so weird. It's like I can't. I don't know how I managed to do it for 30 some years on one screen because now I can't imagine doing it for 
ever again. Uh, so I have a little Amazon money left and just enough because three dollars left in there uh, to uh, I got the same exact monitor I have now so uh, I'll be back to dual screen so that'll be good I really want to start streaming but I need to set up a schedule and I need to decide do I, what I, do I want to do it on Twitch or YouTube I mean the, the plain fact is I get you know, I have a chance to get paid if I do it on tw on YouTube, so I should probably try to do that. Um, but Twitch is more accessible; it's easier. Although now Legato is set up to do to do uh, the same quick and easy live stream to YouTube now, but uh, I haven't gotten it to work yet, uh, so I still got to play with that. But we'll see. I'll see how it is. I gotta see what changes are made. I still don't like the fact that I can't interact with the people watching my streams on YouTube the same way I can on Twitch. And that's that's the kicker. Um, so I'll probably just end up at Twitch. But I do want to come up with a schedule. Um, do it two night, two times a week. One, one like around this uh, around this time, the time I'm recording this, which is uh, during the kids' nap time an hour, hour and a half stream. That way all my, my friends from across the way can, can watch um, and then a night stream. What? Oh god, one random evening. Oh man. No, 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 <laughs> no, 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 oh my god, that was ridiculous, it was like I was on ice all of a sudden, <laughs> I don't, oh boy, Wow, that was a little ridiculous. Oh. <laughs> hey, I'm in eighth. Sweet. Where are we? Oh, we're in sixth. Bet they've never been that high. Let's see my podium finish. My celebrations. Do I stand on my car and pump my fists? Yes. Yay, yay, yay. Boom. Number one for one race. Enjoy it while it lasts, because we're back to whatever. Thanks, Alonzo. That was very sportsman of you. All right. Well, uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.